In Malaysia, temperatures often reach daytime highs of around 33 degrees in much of the country and coupled with high humidity. But a study has found that some cities have seen their average temperatures rise sharply over the past two to three decades in the wake of increased development, loss of greenery and climate change. As Ryan Meltzer reports, Malaysia's capital saw the lowest increase, suggesting it's doing something right. Ipoh in central Malaysia, a low-rise city known for its green surroundings and quaint colonial-era architecture. Yet a study has found that the average temperature in Ipoh has risen by 6.75 degrees since 1998, the sharpest rise of any city in Malaysia. The first thing we did is to um, use remote sensing technology, which is satellite images, to map the extent of heat in these cities. The satellite image actually captured thermal energy that radiates from the surface of the Earth. The unbearable heat is because of urban heat island effect. When you replace the green areas and you have built-up area increase, you will see that the, the material used in the buildings, in you know, the roads, in the pavement, these are materials that absorb you know, and retain heat. Surprisingly, the capital Kuala Lumpur experienced by far the lowest temperature increase of any of the cities surveyed at just 1.64 degrees over 30 years. Kuala Lumpur city centre has demonstrated efficiency of urban greening as a coolant. We see there is a domestic gardens, uh, there's parks, the woodlands, the uh, botanical garden. I think uh, it is uh, important for other cities to emulate program that uh, Kuala Lumpur is doing. Uh, there are strategies, action plan and also guidelines that have been formulated for the local authorities to follow. Think City is working with the country's National Landscape Department. We also collaborate with Think City uh, doing a studies to identify trees which are resilient to climate change. So in these studies, uh, numbers of trees will be identified and the trees that which are suitable for the climate change will be encouraged to be planted by most of the local authorities. You have to strategically plant right species of trees at right locations and you can potentially reduce from 2 to 8 degrees or higher. And this is from uh, what you call a true nature-based solution. Hope for cities like Ipoh that they can start reversing these temperature increases and remain desirable places to live and visit. Ryan Meltzer, CGTN, Ipoh, Malaysia.